Most people don't realize that um, the joint surface at your knee is not actually parallel with the floor. It's actually in a small amount of valgus, or sorry, varus. So that means that um, in order for the joint level to be, or the joint surface to be parallel with the floor, it actually has to be canted out slightly. I always tell people that when they're squatting, they should put the knee, try to have the knee track over the outside edge of the foot. It shouldn't just follow the toes, it should actually kind of follow the small toes, and that's to allow the joint surface to be parallel with the floor, which is going to give you the most effective transmission of force through the knee. So that's one point. Second point is that um, when you are looking at the knee from the sagittal plane or from the side, you actually want the knee to be able to go over the toes forward um, and actually beyond the floor, or beyond the toes. And this is because if you um, don't allow the knee to track beyond the toes, this increases the vertical shin angle, um, uh, the vertical angle of your tibia. You want the, the weight to be transferred or to be situated over as much over the platform as possible. And the only way that you can do that is by bringing the center of weight forward with respect to your platform. And you do that by increasing the amount of dorsiflexion at your ankle and bringing your toes up closer to your shin. In order to allow your knee to be slightly off the vertical plane, so about five degrees or so, um, well, it's actually about between three to six degrees, actually need to have a little bit of abduction at the level of the hip and external rotation. And this just allows, again, your pelvis to open up and it allows you to bring your center of gravity over the base. This means that when you're in the squat position, you want to try to screw your feet into the floor so you get a little bit of external rotation, a little bit of abduction at the level of the hip, and then you can bring your body weight down in between your feet. Um, I've had an Achilles injury on this side, so this, this side is a little bit tighter than on my right, and when I come down into a squat position, my r left foot tends to turn out a little bit more than my right because I don't have that same level of dorsiflexion here. Shift your weight over the outside edge of your foot slightly and allow your knees to track forward. Allow your knees to come out to the outside edge of your foot so that you take your shin angle slightly off of vertical and allow your hips to open up and externally rotate with respect to um, your pelvis so that you can keep your center of gravity as much over the platform as possible.